Hello, welcome to this video on IELTS vocabulary. If you're planning to take the IELTS exam, whether the academic or the general training, you require good level of vocabulary. Now, why is it so? Whether it's your listening test, reading, writing, or speaking, in all, you should be able to use different words correctly, should be able to use a range of vocabulary. So you should know the synonyms, you should be familiar with the antonyms. You should also know how to use those words in combination with other words. And more than the other two tests, that is the listening and the reading, in the writing and the speaking tests, 25% of your marks are on vocabulary. That's the lexical resource. So it's all the more reason to pay attention to vocabulary. So what is it that you need to improve? What kind of vocabulary you should have? Let's have a look at it. In the IELTS speaking test, you can be asked questions on a variety of topics, such as travels. You can be asked about any place you've traveled to, how your experience was. So you'll require vocabulary related to that. The restaurant, your visit to a restaurant or your favorite restaurant, a hill station. You can be asked to compare to hill stations or to talk about your visit to a hill station. And then the books, the kind of books that you read, even in the IELTS general training, writing task one. At times the questions can be related to these because you are asked to write a letter. So letter can be uh, about any, it can be a formal, informal or a semi-formal letter. So there again, you require a range of vocabulary of this kind. Um, buildings, again, there are different types of buildings. Hobbies, oh, in your speaking part one, you're asked questions about your hobbies at times. So what's your favorite hobby? When you start describing your hobby, you should be able to use different words. Uh, and then the friends and family speaking test, part one, you're asked questions about your friends and family, school and education, again, in the speaking part one test. So this speaking test, you require a range of vocabulary. You should not use the same words to talk about the same thing again and again, use different words. In the jobs and careers, fashion and dresses, shopping, movies, art, accommodation, fitness and health. So in your IELTS speaking test, you can be asked questions on a range of topics and you feel more confident if you have a lot of words in your kitty, you have a range of vocabulary with you. In the writing test also, in the writing task too, you can get questions on different topics. And in the writing task one, general training, when you write letters, you write letters, to, especially to friends. And then at times you talk about some restaurant, you talk about uh, maybe something that you've done recently or even a formal letter also. Probably if you are looking for your favorite book or maybe an accommodation somewhere. Remember, it's not just the high level of vocabulary that you should have, or just the formal vocabulary that you should have. You should have a range of vocabulary. Come to our UNOLearning site. We have the resources, the lot of eBooks available. However, at times the students do acquire a good range of vocabulary, but are not able to use those words correctly. You should know when to use the word successful and when to use the word successfully. Unless you understand this, you'll face a lot of problems because again, you're going to lose points. And of course the spelling should be correct. So as I just told you, words have different forms. So use the correct part of speech. For example, let's look at this example. We are going to discussion. I hear this kind of sentences quite often. We're going to conversation. So it's wrong because discussion is a noun. You can use a verb after two. We are going to discuss this. 
or you can restructure it in a different way. We are going to have a discussion. So understand the uses of different parts of speech. Another area in vocabulary is the collocations. So collocations is something that is new for the English learners, but yes, it's extremely important, especially in your eyes, speaking and writing. You should know how to use the words in combination with other words. That's what collocation is, the natural way of putting together the words. That's how the native speakers use those words. What are these collocations? So as I just said, two or three words commonly used together in English. For instance, you make an invoice. You don't do an invoice. You do a favor to someone, but you don't do a mistake. You make a mistake. You open an account. You deposit a check. A new movie is released, but a new product is launched. See how we combine the words, how we connect the words together? Now, there are different types of collocations, but mainly six types are there. The first is the adjective and noun. The noun and noun, verb and noun, verb plus adverb, adverb plus adjective, and verb plus prepositional phrase. Now, what do we mean by all these? Adjective plus noun. The noun performance is a noun. So when I say a remarkable performance, Remarkable is adjective and performance is noun. So we have an adjective and noun combination over here, collocation. Phenomenal growth. A noun and noun, like, uh, oh, my friend has a good sense of humor. So when I say sense of humor, sense is noun and humor is noun. Verb plus noun. Uh, I gave a few examples some time back, like you make a mistake, so mistake is made. And then um, a new movie is released, so you release a movie, you make a mistake, then you, you make a profit. Verb plus adverb. How do we use verb and adverb? For instance, you remember something. So how do you remember? You remember it vividly. Or maybe you fail miserably. Then the adverb and adjective. When we put both of them together, like for instance, highly recommended, highly successful. Then the verb and prepositional phrases. So we put the verbs. For instance, you burst. Now you burst into tears. You're filled, filled with joy. How should we learn these collocations? Is there any grammar, grammatical rule for this? Is there any grammar for it? No. What you have to do is understand the combinations, understand the collocations. When you read something, when you listen to someone, observe carefully, notice them and learn them. Note them down, memorize them. And there's another area of vocabulary that you should know for IELTS speaking course, in the IELTS writing test, you should not use idioms, but in the IELTS speaking, you should use idioms. For instance, if you have to talk about uh, something that gave you a lot of joy, oh, I was on cloud nine when I got my result, or I go to a mall for shopping because I can get everything over there from A to Z. So learn some idioms, have them at your fingertips. There may be so many things that can be just a piece of cake for you. 